In this video, we're going to be talking about the Spotify Canvas feature and more specifically, the Spotify Canvas generator in DistroKid. Now, if you don't know what the Spotify Canvas is, we have a video down below describing what it is and how you can create one very easily using a free graphic design tool on the internet called Canva. So we're going to leave those links down below. In this video, we're going to focus on how you can create and add a Spotify Canvas to your song on Spotify from DistroKid. So the first thing you need to do is log into your DistroKid account. Once you're in, you need to come to the menu bar and come to this tab right here. You click on it and then you scroll to the bottom and then you come to enhance your music. So once you click on that, you see the Spotify Canvas generator option, which says free custom Canvas videos for your Spotify release. So you click on that. Once you click, you'll be directed to a page where uh, DistroKid shows you that the Spotify Canvas generator is linked to a website called Pexels, which is a royalty-free uh, website for footage and pictures as well. So DistroKid has partnered up with Pexels to make the Spotify Canvas generator in the DistroKid platform. So one thing you need to do is uh, type into this search box right here, the type of video you want to uh, add to your song. So if maybe you want to add some stars, they give you some options here. Here they say highway, fire, neon, stars, blur. There are all these different options. For me, uh, I would like to type in graphics, right? The kind of song that I am creating this Spotify canvas for is more of a chill vibe. So I want like graphics, just like having that psychedelic look to them. That's what I'm going for. So these are the results that have been brought. You can see that they are in different aspect ratios. We have one that is in the vertical aspect ratio. We have the horizontal and then we have the square aspect ratio. We are going for the uh, vertical, which is like the real or the shorts format because uh, on Spotify, it's going to fill up the whole screen once we upload the Spotify canvas there. So we click on that. These are the options that have been brought. So you can see this is a graphic option. This is what it will look like. Then we also have this one right here. Now it's just a vibe. That's that's this is basically what I'm looking at. So I actually already downloaded an option. The option I downloaded is this right here. Because I just like how the colors are changing and it's just it's just a crazy vibe to it. I feel like it fits uh my vision for the Spotify canvas. Now, remember, you can go ahead and create a Spotify canvas for yourself, but this is a way for you to do it very easily, right? Uh, it's connected to a platform that already has videos that are ready to go and you can just upload. So like I already said, I already downloaded this video. In order to download it, you will need to click next here. Right, so I already clicked on the video. I've come and click next, and then I would need to download the video. Once I've downloaded it, it will come to my download section in my computer. And then the next step will be to upload it to Spotify. So you click this button and you'll be brought to this page right here that says adding a canvas. So here it just gives you a rundown quickly on what a canvas is. It's an eight second visual loop that shows in a vertical format to fill the screen. It appears in the now playing view instead of your album artwork. So Spotify actually calls this album artwork for the new era or for the new generation. I think it's something like that. I'm paraphrasing, but it's something along those lines. And then you can add canvas to any track, including upcoming releases. So you need to be either the first main artist listed on the track or a main artist listed on both the track and release. So in order to uh, add this Spotify canvas to your song, you will need to log into your Spotify for artists. This is if you're, uh, Ad, an admin or an editor, you log into your Spotify for artists, you go to the music section, you select a track, and then you add canvas, web, or create canvas for the mobile app. So let's go ahead and do that. Here you can see that I'm already logged in. So I'll just go and click dashboard, which will bring me to, let's just click dashboard. And it has brought me to my Spotify for Artists account on the back end. So as you can see, I have this menu on the left hand side. If you remember, they were saying you click on music here. So we click music and then you come to the songs section. You click on songs. Now, the first songs that will be shown here are the ones with the highest number of streams. 
they'll, they'll be shown in descending order from the highest number to the lowest. So what you want to do is come and click all time so that it shows all the songs that you have. And then you select the song for which you downloaded their Spotify canvas. So the song that I downloaded that for was the Feel Good Vibe song. So we click on that. And then this is what it will look like once you're directed or redirected to a different page. You need to come and click add canvas right here. So once you click on that, you'll be brought to a page that shows that you can add a Spotify canvas. So let's just read a bit here. It says drag and drop a file, URLs and CTS are, prohi are prohibited. Uh, if used text should be relevant to the track. Uh, preview your canvas with player controls before uploading. Canvas says that don't follow our policies will be removed. View our content policies. It's important that you read those. And then the file requirements, 9 to 16 ratio, at least 720 pixels tall, uh, an MP4 or JPEG file, and then 3 to 8 seconds long, MP4 only. Then you can go ahead and read their best practices and specs. And then you can also preview for iPhone X. However, we're going to keep it simple. Uh, let's just click the Add button. And then we come to downloads, right, where our download came through. So this is the Spotify canvas that I downloaded. Click on that, and then you add that. Boom. Mm. Looks amazing. I like how this looks. The whole psychedelic vibe, I feel like it's fit my vision. You could literally think I created this. But it's just being innovative and distracted thing about its artist. While we're still on that point, you can use my link in the description. If you do not have your songs up on streaming platforms yet, such as Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, all these platforms, you can do it through DistroKid, which is my favorite platform. And you'll get yourself a 7% discount on your first year of subscription. So make yourself or rather save yourself some money. Now let's go ahead and uh uh, finish this process. This is what it will look like once someone plays your song. And then here you click next. It says ready to post your canvas. First, let's agree to some things. So they're going to bring some terms here and conditions. So you read through those and then you agree to the terms and then you post. It says do not close this page until your canvas has finished uploading. Your canvas should take up to 10 minutes to process. You may close this window. We'll let you know when it's done. And really, that is the process of adding a Spotify canvas to your song on Spotify using DistroKid and the Spotify canvas generator. Let me know down in the comment section if this video has been helpful. If there are alternative ways that you know of how to create a Spotify canvas with minimal effort, let us know down in the description or rather in the comment section. And if it's interesting enough, I'll create a video. I'll actually explore it. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.